we have already studied the rules for oxidation number in the previous um, goal four rules we have seen further rules we are going to discuss now there is a rule in the case of rule 5 if you see here in case of hydrogen you have to know in case of hydrogen oxidation number in case of hydrogen if you see it exhibits plus 1 oxidation state exceptional is in the case of metal hydrides if you see it exhibits in the case of metal hydrides minus 1 oxidation state whereas other than the metal hydrides hydrogen is going to exhibit plus 1 oxidation state suppose for example take um, hcl in case of hcl hydrogen exhibits what plus 1 oxidation state in the similar way if you take um, h2so4 in the case of h2so4 also hydrogen is going to exhibit what plus 1 oxidation state these are the elements even if you take water these are acids this is water neutral compound in all these compounds hydrogen is going to exhibit what plus 1 oxidation state but exceptional is in the case of hydrates metal hydrates if you take uh, sodium hydrate that is nah here because of a highly electropositive element sodium is going to exhibit plus 1 oxidation state as a result of it hydrogen is going to exhibit what minus 1 oxidation state this is the exceptional cases what you are going to find even if you take magnesium hydride here also magnesium is going to exhibit plus 2 oxidation state whereas hydrogen exhibits minus 1 oxidation state that means in the case of metal hydrides it is going to exhibit what minus 1 oxidation state whereas other than that it is going to exhibit plus 1 oxidation state that is rule 5 if you see in the case of rule 6 rule 6 talks about the oxidation states of fluorine element in case of uh, fluoride compounds if you take uh, hf in this case fluorine is going to exhibit negative oxidation state minus 1 not only in hf in all the compounds of fluorides it's going to exhibit what minus 1 oxidation states why because because fluorine is highly electronegative element so because of that reason always it is going to exhibit what minus 1 oxidation state now if you see rule 7 in the case of rule 7 it tells about the oxidation states of oxygen here oxygen in the generally in normal case if you see oxygen will exhibit what minus 2 oxidation state normal oxygen so if you take h2o in h2o it oxidation state of oxygen is minus 2 whereas in the case of peroxides superoxides in case of normal oxides it exhibits what minus 2 oxidation state in the case of peroxides if you take it's going to exhibit what minus 1 oxidation state for example take h2o2 na2o2 these all are peroxy bonds in this case it is going to exhibit minus 1 oxidation state see the structure of h2o2 we have minus 1 minus 1 oxidation state overall we come across with the minus 1 oxidation states in the case of peroxides and if you take superoxides here o2 minus 1 in case of superoxides if you take example you can take ko2 here x plus you need to know the oxidation state of oxygen that is 1 for potassium you know 2x is equal to 0 as a result of it 1 is equal to what minus 2x and x is equal to what minus 1 by 2 that implies as a result of it in the case of superoxides oxygen is going to exhibit what minus half oxidation state at the same time here we come across with ozonides in case of ozonide form it is going to exhibit minus 1 by 3 suppose take for example ko3 here in ko3 potassium oxidation state is 1 and for oxygen in order to know the oxidation state just take three times of x three oxygen atoms it contains 
and for each oxygen atom x. So, 1 is equal to what minus 3 x that implies x is equal to what minus 1 by 3. In the case of ozonide it exhibits minus 1 by 3 oxidation state, in the case of superoxides it exhibits minus half, in the case of uh, peroxides it exhibits uh, minus 2 uh, minus 1, this is for peroxides, this is for normal oxides. This all comes under the oxidation states of oxygen. In addition to this, you come across with the oxyfluorides that is O2 F2. In this oxyfluoride, oxygen is going to exhibit plus 1 oxidation state. Okay, see here 2x plus here how many fluorines you come across with? 2 fluorines. 2 into minus 1 is equal to 0. 2x is equal to 2, x is equal to what? Plus 1. That is oxidation state of oxygen in oxyfluoride. Oxygen difluoride, in this case, the oxidation state for oxygen is x plus 2x, 2 into minus 1 is equal to 0, x is equal to what? Plus 2. As a result of it, in the case of oxyfluorides, oxygen exhibits plus 1, plus 2 oxidation states. As a result of it, we came to know that oxygen is going to exhibit different oxidation states like minus 2 in case of normal oxides, minus 1 in case of peroxides, minus half in case of superoxides, minus 1 by 3 in case of ozonides and in case of oxyfluorides, it exhibits plus 1 as well as plus 2 oxidation states. In this comes under rule 7. This is what um, this goal corresponds to. In addition to that, we are going to see now assignment of it. What is our assignment you come across with in this goal? See here you come across with MCQs with one correct answer. In the first MCQ, we have the common oxidation number exhibited by 3A group elements you know already based on the oxidation states of the elements, the elements have been divided into groups in periodic table. If it possesses one valency, it comes under one year group, two valency, it comes under two year group, valency is equal to its oxidation number in the case of one year, two year as well as three year groups. As a result of it, the they, they are asking the oxidation states of 3A group elements. So, the answer for that is plus 3. If you take for second question, oxidation number of manganese in KMnO4. In before goal itself, we have seen that oxidation number, same question is repeated in this goal also, that is plus 7. Next, if you see the oxidation number of sodium in sodium hydride. In a H, they are asking you to find the oxidation number of sodium. So, here you know already in case of metal hydrides, hydrogen is negative charge it acquires as a result of it sodium is going to acquire what positive charge. So, oxidation number of sodium in sodium hydride is what plus 1. Next if you see the statement type questions, in statement type questions if you see statement A. The oxidation number of hydrogen in metal hydrides is that is minus 1, but instead here it is given plus 1. So, the statement given is wrong. Next if you see statement B, the oxidation number of fluorine in all its compounds is minus 1 that is the right statement. And if you see statement C, the oxidation number of oxygen in ozonides is this is the ozonide is what minus 1 by 3 that statement is given. So, here statement A is proved to be wrong and B and C is proved to be right. So, the option for that is C. Next, they asked oxidation numbers of oxygen in some compounds, oxygenated compounds like oxy di oxygen difluoride. Its oxidation number is what? Plus 2. Oxy oxyfluoride, its oxidation number is what? Plus 1. And in the similar way, here they ask for water. In the case of water, you have to consider normal oxide. 
here the oxygen contains oxidation number as minus 2. Next you come across with what for H2O2 nothing but peroxides in case of peroxides oxygen oxidation state is what minus 1 that is about this goal what we have studied and in the next goal we have to see the further rules of oxidation number till the rules is not yet completed we have to go for that rules in the next goal till then bye thank you.